Today on NB NB Reviews, we're going to be reviewing the Hollyland Lark C1. Let's get to the product review. Dale from NB NB Review. Um, before watching this video, please take the time to like and subscribe. I take my time in um, making these videos and giving you guys good product reviews. So please just take the time to uh, like it. It would greatly help my channel and I appreciate it. Thank you. Without further ado, let's get to the product review. Dale from NB NB Review. Today with us, I have the Hollyland Lark C1. Do you guys know, it is a, um, a lavalier wireless microphone. The box is right here. This this isn't, and just so you know, it's right here. The only thing lying. <laughs> this isn't a this isn't a a, um, a box opening review. Um, I, I'm actually recording right now on, on my Chromebook. Um, I have the I have the microphone receiver in my um, Chromebook on my uh, Type Type C um, port, and then I have of course I have the uh, wireless mic right here. Um, but I got it initially because my wife and I we have a podcast. Um, if you guys don't know, I've mentioned it a few times in in, in different reviews. Um, I always post the link and all my videos in 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 the, in the very last description of my videos is me and my wife podcast. We have a, we have a podcast about relationships and marriage we actually started our podcast um the reason because we got married in 2017 and when we got married we didn't really see or know a lot of people uh, in our in our age range who were married who actually um uh, um just kind of had any kind of good advice or anything like that as we kind of you know got in this marriage we kind of made it our our mission to kind of promote marriage in a positive like talk about the good, the bad, and the ugly, but also just talk about family and, and legacy. So I say all of that to say that I'm, I'm not trying to promote my podcast or anything like that. But if you want to check check it out, it's in all my, all my product reviews. Uh, um, this in, in the description, it's always the last link in all my in all, in, in all the reviews in the, on the in this description. It's always the last link in the description, always. So I got the microphones because me and my wife sometimes we want to record a podcast episode. You can see behind me in my studio. She's tired. I'm tired. We don't always feel like kind of dragging ourselves up, getting a cup of coffee or for her a, cu a cup of tea. And, you know, it's one, two in the morning and we got to go sit down at, at the desk behind us and record a podcast. And so sometimes she's like, well, can we just do it in the bed? Like have a, a set up in the bed? I'm like, well, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't really know. Um, and to be honest with you, I've known of these for a while. I just have never, um, I've known these kind of microphones for a while. I've just never encountered any where the quality was to the point where I would want to record a podcast episode. And again, like I always say on, um, in the past on episodes that I talk about microphones and different microphones, it's like you can use, you can use um, different plugins and things like that. Yes, that's true. But one of the things that you can't emulate or imitate through a plugin is the actual quality of a microphone. That can't be emulated or, or um, copied or anything, anything like that. It, it can't. I've been there. I've tried it. Now, if you're... If you have like music or instrumental over a vocal, you can sometimes kind of hide it, but even then it, it can be difficult depending on the genre of music. But I say all that to say that I prefer sitting at the desk recording a podcast using quality podcast professional microphones. So it's so all the quality sounds good and great. That's my preference. But um, now, you know, as, 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 I'm, as my wife is again transitioning back from, um, she was working for two years. And now she's like, well, I want to, you know, focus more time on the kids and homeschool, homeschooling them. Maybe we can put more time into our podcast. I was like, you know, what? cool. But she's like, well, can we, can we, you know, can we sometimes not do it at, in the studio? So I'm like, okay, I guess I can compromise. So I was, I was online looking at different microphones. This actually initially wasn't even the microphone that I was looking at. I was looking at one that was on eBay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Best Buy. And it was like 150, and then I started looking at that one. You know, when you start looking at um, YouTube YouTube reviews of, of of products, they always give you other stuff. And so I was like, that one is a hundred and something dollars. It sounds pretty good. Let me check that one out. So I went on Amazon. Um, it was like 108, and then I went on eBay. It was like 50, no 69, furbish. So I was like, you know what? Let me go ahead and grab it because I I, live, I watched many different reviews. I said it sounds good, and I know that people are doing. Uh, stuff to the audio and post-production just so you know i'm not going to do anything to the audio and post-production usually i'll throw in a little noise suppress uh, a suppressor on my videos but i'm not going to do anything to it the only thing i probably will do 
is if the if the audio levels is not high enough, um, like before I render my videos, I I usually I usually use a limiter to to turn the gain up on 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 the, on the videos. So that's usually all I, that's usually all I do. So just you guys know, the audio quality that you're hearing in this video is, is uploaded to YouTube. There was no noise suppression added to it, no EQ, nothing. The only thing I probably that I'm gonna add to it probably is a, a, um, a limiter to um, up the gain on the audio. That's it. Nothing else. So the audio quality that, that you'll be hearing is is the the audio quality, give or take, just louder. <laughs> so, and like I said before, the microphone it really grabbed my attention because you can use it on, on your cell phones. They have a version for it for iPhones, which is like the, the Lightning um, um, plugin, I guess. Whatever iPhone user, I'm not really an iPhone user, so I really can't go into that with you. But also, it can be used on PC, as I, I'll show you. Um, in a little while, I use it on my PC. Just real quick, I wanted to show you guys that I'm actually using this on my PC right here. So if there if there's any kind of concerns, can you use it on PC? I believe you can use it on phones, tablets, iPads, iPhones, anything that you want. I'll go to I'll go to a browser right now just so you know. Um, and this is a YouTube video on, on my PC. I know sometimes when when people kind of get these devices or hear about these devices, you have a multitude of questions. Can I use them on my PC? Um, yes, um, it'll, it'll actually come up right here as a wireless microphone, and rightfully so. It's a, it, the base is plugged into my, um, the base is plugged into my computer, and I have a USB, uh, a Type-C to USB um, adapter, because the, uh, the actual microphone um, base itself is a, a Type-C Android. Um, so I just have a, a, a USB Type C to USB going on my computer. So, so you guys know this. You can definitely use it on the PC. There you go. And I'll show you me using it on my phone. So you know this can be used on phones as well. I believe that most people who get it will that that would be their primary focus is to use it on phones. This is a Pixel Seven Pro. So just so you can kind of hear get a good idea what it sounds like, um, the image quality. Especially with the image quality on phones improving, I can actually see people actually just uh, vlogging or um, doing YouTube reviews from their phones or tablets nowadays with the with the quality of of, of phones. I know the um, I'm sorry with the quality of phones um, um, picture and, and, and video image quality. I know um, the uh, Pixel has uh, they're actually known for having some phenomenal picture taking abilities and video taking abilities. But this is actually this camera is facing um, front, so we you know. Usually on phones, front-facing cameras usually don't have t uh, as good as quality as the um, the rear um, the rear-facing uh, cameras. I mean um, lenses or whatever. So just so you guys know, this is also it can be used on phones. So you can see right here the little thing. I'll tap it real quick so you know I'm not joking. There you go. Probably sounds annoying, but just so you get a good idea, you can't use this on your phone, a tablet, I iPad. Um, uh, I don't know what you call it, Mac uh, laptops. I'm guessing a uh, Apple. Uh, laptop, but you know it can be used on Chromebooks as well. So, so you guys know. And now I'm recording on my Chromebook. Um, if you guys watch my videos for me, for, for, for me with me, oftentimes I do record. I do record videos 50% of the time on my on my um, behind me on, on my um, PC, and the other 50% of the time I record on my Chromebook. So, of course, I have a um, I have a um, I usually have a dynamic microphone with me, and I have the Logitech Stream Cam. That I use specifically for my Chromebook, and behind me I have a um, Elgato Face Cam, the standard, the, um, the, 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 the first version, which is like 1080. Um, so the, the first version, and that's that's already at my desk set. I don't like to take it off and wait why because it's actually it's actually um, plugged into my actual um, tower on my um, um, my, my computer. So I don't want to have to get on the ground and unplug it and plug it back up. So I just bought, I got two separate webcams. The Elgato face cam is for my, my PC when I record on my PC. The um, Logitech stream cam is, is, is for my um, my Chromebook when I record on my Chromebook specifically. And I usually interchange the microphones because they can just take them out and whatever. So, you know, but um, anytime, anytime you see my studio behind me, just know I'm recording on my Chromebook. <laughs> so I say all that to say that. If anybody was out there wondering, yes, it can be used on Chromebook. Yes, it can be used on iPhones, Androids, um, Apple laptops, Apple computers, um, tablets, anything. Now they do have a version of it can, that can be used on. If you have like a um, the little 
um, audio jack into a computer. I mean, or, I'm sorry, into a, into a camera, like a, a DSLR. They had that too. Now, I'm sure you could probably just uh, buy or find a 3.5 audio jack to type C if you were that kind of like, you just wanted to have one device to go across multiple things. That probably be, would be my what I would do if I was using it for a, a, um, a DSLR. I wouldn't buy two different mic uh, microphones to, to have on, be able to use different things. To me, it's just a bit too much. Like companies, they kind of, they do that to kind of get money out of you. Because it's like, well, you could have created, you could have just actually had Type-C to audio a jack adapter go with this. But of course, then they, they couldn't sell you on the other microphones that they have. That's for that reason. So, I mean, for that case scenario. So it's like, eh, you know, but during this video, I hope you've been listening to it. I hope you've been kind of, kind of hearing what it sounds like. I'll show you a video uh, uh, shortly of just, just my, just my setup. What I have, you'll see this big C5 inch TV in front of me. And this is like I said before, on one of my other videos, usually whenever I'm recording my PC, I put up that, the thing you see back there, it's a, it's a, like a, a divider. It goes out and you just see that and me on, on screen. Cause this is my, me and my wife's um, lounge slash studio area. But this is just, this is just our area. We don't usually, we don't let our kids that come down here. just like, well, we, whenever we want to get a kind of fresh air or get a piece of quiet, we just come out here and we chill. Yeah. Sometimes they come out here and sit with us, but for the most part, they have their own play area. We kind of wanted to create our own space and our own environment so we can come and kind of just creatively just take notes or just um, collaborate on different things. And this is where usually most of my product reviews happen where I'll, I'll open up products and look at them and test them out. And then I'll set up my, my lights and do a YouTube review. So folks at home, this is my setup. Remember I use my Chromebook right here. That's it. This is, this is my Chromebook. This is the uh, Hollyland Lark C1 receiver. Um, this is the, the one I was using right here. This is the actual base station. If you want to, um, put it in here and you let it charge, it'll charge everything for you like that. My light, my stream cam right here and pretty, pretty basic setup, you know, just so you guys know, um, all this time I've been talking and just listening to the quality of the microphone. See uh, and hear if it's something that you would want. And if not, then, you know, you know, don't buy it. But, um, I think it's a good, I think it's a good uh, product. They also, it also has a, a, a noise cancellation right here. If you can see, um, right here, um, the, the, uh, if you push the yellow button, it'll, it'll open up, a, um, it'll do like a noise suppression on the microphone. So like, um, if you were like in, in a loud area or if my kids were screaming upstairs, you would, I could press that button and you wouldn't even be able to hear them. So that's also a, 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 a added benefit to it <clears throat> as well. Before I forget one last thing, they do have, they do have a, a app on the phone. You do have an app on the phone. See right here. You probably can't see because, um, but because I have the receiver plugged into my Chromebook and not my actual phone, you can't really use the app unless it's actually plugged into the phone. But the benefit of the app is you can turn, you can turn up the audio um, on the, on the actual, on the phone. And you can also, um, the, um, click what specific noise suppression settings. You either have like a high, a middle, a low, like I want low noise suppression as possible. Keep it middle or the highest noise suppression you can get as possible. And then you can just, um, you can just be able to use that. But if, if you take it out of your phone and put it in, in your, um, any di different devices, it'll be set to that specific um, setting. And if you want to, of course, want to change it, you can, of course, put it back in your, um, back in your Android phone and set it from there. But I think that's really specifically for the phone because on my Chromebook, it gives me the option to turn up the volume up or down uh, or low, not that specific app, but on the actual Chromebook itself, the Chromebook will kind of, um, delegate how high or low the output of, of the sound for the microphone will be. And I have mine kind of like in the middle. So I think if you're using like a, a even on my PC, so uh, like, like OBS. So even if you're using like a, um, a, a Chromebook or, um, a PC, I'm sure Apple products allow you to allow you to do the same thing. So it's not really like, uh, while it's nice to have, it's like, okay, I can just do that from the actual device that I'm recording from and the noise suppression. Most of the time, I, I mean, I don't really see somebody using noise suppression if they're going to be like sitting somewhere stationary. I just don't see that happening. What I will say is that, um, I see that with, with technology becoming so easily accessible, like I can see myself 
doing YouTube reviews with this microphone and not having a microphone in my face, like just sitting down doing a YouTube review of a product and holding it up on the camera. And just, I, see, I see myself doing that because again, technology becoming so accessible, I could probably just use my phone. I could do a, do a YouTube review in a park <laughs> with my phone and this microphone, be like, hey guys, you know, but I'm just, you know, kind of just saying if, if somebody wanted to do that, that they could because technology becoming uh, really, really accessible. So again, thank you for watching the, uh, my product review, the Hollyland Lark. C1. If it's something that you're interested in, I, I would love to hear hear it from you. How does it sound? Is this is a is the sound quality? Do you think it's good, bad? You don't know. Just, again, just love to hear from you. Dale from MD Indie Reviews. Until next time, thank you for watching. Thank you for the support. I really appreciate it. it means a lot to me. Peace.